Hey, hello again, everybody. Wednesday, March 13 here in Dingleham. And uh, a real, real lazy kind of day because the weather's been eh, not the best. Been kind of rainy on and off. Right now, it's not raining, but uh, definitely overcast. I think the rain's probably over till maybe later on. But the good thing is the temperature, temperature is really nice. Beautiful breeze. Let's take a look. I mean, really, really breezy. Sometimes I think the flags are gonna fly right off the pole. Patch barking at something. Yeah, but like I said, nothing really going on. Uh, I'm just watching to see what they're doing over there. We haven't gone anywhere today. Nobody's gone anywhere. Except for Mommy. She's playing cards again. And, uh, for some reason, Catherine had school off today on a Wednesday. I have no idea why. I asked, uh, Mommy, why no school? Oh, they didn't tell me. They just message her on her phone what's going on, but they don't explain it. Just say, oh, no, no classes today. I guess whenever they want to, they just shut it down. Uh, I really can't wait till they get it. She goes to school in Cabana Tuan. Get this crappy place uh, over with. And then, of course, when she's off, you know, they're bored. Just fooling around all day. Now they're both with Mommy over there. I don't know what they're doing. James has Catherine's cell phone because his was low battery. Uh, so who knows? They're just probably just playing with that. Uh, mommy did a little reading with her this morning, but not much because uh, she gets real frustrated. Her way of uh, teaching is just yelling, yelling, yelling. I mean, I get frustrated too, but I try not to yell not a good way to teach a kid. They're not going to learn if you just yell at them constantly. But it's very frustrating because, you know, you tell her the same thing over and over. So many times the same thing. <sighs> Trying to move around because I think it's you know, it's pretty windy, as you can see with my hair. And you probably hear, hear it in the audio. They got clothes hung up everywhere because of the rain. As you can see, the clothes blowing everywhere. Because they did laundry and there's nowhere to hang it. When the sun's not out, it's rough. <sighs> Keep moving. Oh, this hair drives me crazy sometimes. Hey, I'll go inside here. Where it's a little more quiet, no wind. Excuse me. Oh, I guess that's better. In my room, where I spend a lot of time when there's nothing to do.
can only watch so much TV or cell phone, so many videos. Uh, it just gets boring. And then uh, sometimes I'll go over to the Kubo. And I'll just uh, sit in my hammock and listen to some music for a little change of pace. I was over there before, but it started raining and the wind was blowing really hard. And it was actually getting uh, me a little wet. Um, right now it's okay. I might go back there again after I load this video. But uh, really not much to tell you. Uh, we haven't been able to get out of here uh, because of the road closures. One of these days I'll show you uh, you know, when it's nicer weather. I'll get on my scooter and I'll show you what they're doing over there. Because I, I haven't even been out, out of, uh, at the road closure since they started working on it. So I, I need to go take a look anyway. So one day when the weather's pretty nice, I'll show you guys what they're doing. Because I want to see it too. <laughs> uh, and as far as the kitty cat that was stuck in the roof, I don't know. I haven't heard it. Maybe it got out. I hope so. Because if it stays up there, it's going to die. And it's going to stink. But the hole's big enough, it should be able to get out. But I really don't know if it's got out yet. Um, got a lot of things happening at the end of the month here. A lot of things going on. Uh, her nephew, Adam, whose house we go to a lot. Uh, one of his kids, one of his daughters, going to turn 18 on the 25th, I believe. So they're having a big, big celebration, big party. They're renting a hall. Uh, you got to get dressed up. It's all catered, everything. So uh, not that I want to, but we'll probably be making the trip over there. Uh, I hate driving the. I hate driving to Manila. Quezon City, whatever. Um, but we're probably going to have to do that. Because if I don't show up, they'll probably be mad. Anyway, you know, Grace, of course, they, she wants to go. Because it doesn't cost her anything. She doesn't do anything. She's just along for the trip. And the kids, of course, you know, they're going to want to go see all their cousins so it doesn't even start till eight o'clock at night so who knows when it's going to end and uh we don't know where we're going to sleep or anything because they only have so much room in their house it's not like a giant house or an apartment building like they have here in Cabaldon. so most likely we'll have to get a hotel room at least for one night most likely uh, that's going to cost more money. And then, uh, you know, they're requiring to kind of be dressed up. So, we'll have to buy clothes. <laughs> and then the gas, driving there. It's just money, money, money. More expense. And then, you know, Easter's right around the corner. And then I got a message from uh, Union Bank, who's taken over Citibank. So the migration of my account is supposed to be totally finished by the 25th uh, also. So uh, I'm stay staying in touch with, uh, with that to see if I uh, have to do anything special. Uh, apparently it's supposed to be a pretty easy situation and they're going to let me know how to do everything. <clears throat> and um, uh, they've already sent me several messages about the migration. So they keep you updated on everything. Uh, but I still haven't got my new card. I guess that'll be coming. I don't know. Seems like it should have been here by now. But that's a good thing, so because uh, there is a uh, Union Bank in Cabanatuan now, so I don't have to worry about going all the way to Manila City Bank anymore. 
And my account in the U.S. will just stay the same. It's not gonna, not gonna be any issue there. Uh, I'll still be able to uh, do transfers and all that kind of stuff. Shouldn't be a problem. So lots of things happening. Um, the month's already going fast. It's already halfway done, pretty much. Uh, other than that, really, not much else to tell you. Can't think of anything else I missed. Uh, but, um, like I said, first the first nice day, nice weather day that comes along. I'm going to take a ride and show you, show you that uh, construction. See how much is done yet. See what they're working on if they've started digging into the mountain yet. That, uh, that'd be the most exciting thing happening, I guess. <laughs> it's really boring around here, people. But I guess if I was in the Kavana Tuan, it'd kind of be boring also. There'd just be, you know, there'd just be more places to go to. Um, really, there's nowhere to go here. Really, nothing to do unless you have a hobby. Some kind of hobby. Which I don't have. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe as always. It's free. And uh, that's it for now. God bless everyone. Thanks for watching. Santa Claus, over and out.